Hey guys, it's The Real China Sister. I'm back with another video. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment below. Today I'm going to be giving you guys five things you should do before choosing a home or an apartment. The first thing I'm going to tell you guys to do before choosing your potential home or apartment is to drive by your potential neighborhood where that house or apartment is. Drive past the neighborhood during the morning time and then another drive at night. I'm suggesting you do this because what you see during the day in a neighborhood might be completely different from what you see at night. Like the neighborhood might look super nice and super quiet during the day and at night it might turn into like a full blown block party or something. So I think it's very important to take that one drive during the day and then another drive at night. The second thing I'm going to tell you guys to do before choosing your potential house or apartment is if you're still trying to get a look at the type of people that frequent your neighborhood, you should also drive around and take a look at the people at the bus station and the train station. In doing that, you'll be able to tell the type of people that come in and out of your neighborhood. Third thing I'm going to tell you guys to do before choosing your house or your apartment is to find out about the pet policy. Some places will say, oh yeah, you can have a pet or you can't have a pet or oh, your dog can't be anymore more than 10 pounds you know if you're a dog lover like myself you know my precious waffles like I'm not moving in anywhere that does not allow me to have my waffles with me I would not be the woman I am today without her so like I always have to know whether there's a pet policy or not I definitely find out about the pet policy if you guys have pets the fourth thing I'm gonna advise you guys to do before choosing a potential apartment or house is to ask yourself, does this house or apartment really fit my budget? Can I afford to live comfortably? Will I be living here and have to eat eggs and bread for like the next two months? It's very important in picking a house or an apartment that you pick somewhere that you can stand on your own two feet by yourself. The fifth and final thing I'm advising you guys to do before choosing a house or an apartment is to ask yourself, can I see myself traveling back and forth within my neighborhood is the travel really okay with you you know like are you willing to take that extra bus or that extra train if you have to do so for example say there's a night that you're working late you're gonna have to travel back like 9 p.m 10 p.m at night you never know do you feel safe in that neighborhood traveling back to your home that late or do you feel like you have to watch your back every two seconds or you need to carry a taser or something with you it's very important to look at things like that you know especially traveling as a woman like by yourself if you live by yourself you know you you always want to be safe always want to think of every alternative every situation so those are my five things I'm advising you guys to do before choosing a house or an apartment um I know the process isn't easy there's so many different things to like think of or whatever but I think it's very important for people to be comfortable where they live at and most definitely to be comfortable in the neighborhood that they're staying in um I hope this video was helpful make sure you guys subscribe to my channel like this video comment below see you guys soon